The days of long lineups at COVID-19 testing sites are gone. PCR lab tests remain the gold standard in detecting any genetic material from the virus, but appointments and results can take days. Now there's a growing push for wider use of at-home rapid antigen tests. Results can take minutes. They don't always detect early cases, but published studies show rapid tests can detect over 93 percent of cases in people carrying high viral loads who are likely to infect others. If it's done frequently enough, you have a very good chance at catching people before they show symptoms while they're actually infectious. This is a passion food. Preventing that spread can help keep societies open, but rapid tests need to be used properly. So we asked pharmacist Kiro Masset for some help. Show me how I do my own rapid antigen test. Sure, the first step you're going to do is... After squeezing 10 drops of test preparing. solution into a tube, we need a sample. I've done this once before. <laughs> Not as high up as PCR test swabs. Squeeze. Twist. But still 5 to 10 seconds in each nostril. You have the sample that goes inside this test tube in here. After two minutes of stirring, the solution gets dropped onto the test. And then we wait for 15 minutes. If enough coronavirus is present in the sample, the spike proteins will stick to a row of antibodies embedded in the first line on the test. If not, the sample flows through to the control line. That means you're negative. But keep in mind. If you do test positive with this test, we strongly urge you to isolate and validate that result with a PCR. Now we're going to open the swab. To be truly effective, rapid tests need to be done every two to three days. Tamara Robbins Griffith was hoping they could help keep her children safe at school. Easy to use, but they're expensive. While German grocery stores sell rapid tests for roughly a dollar, Americans pay about eight bucks. In Canada, it's usually $40 or more. It's cost prohibitive to test twice a week. I will probably save them for when we're having a visit with a family member before anybody <laughs> is inside together without masks on. Looks good. She acknowledges not everyone can afford them. Some provinces, including Ontario, are reserving rapid antigen tests for businesses and some schools. But experts insist these tests can help keep everyone safer. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.